Hello everybody, in this video I'm presenting you Beast Stinger. This is a build, by the way, it's not completely optimized unfortunately, I can't really get everything that I want, but it's amazing. Now basically, uh, what it does, is about fire. Now, this plays differently guys, if you're kind of fed up with the same thing, you know, with all this meta thing, you want something a bit different, play the game a bit different, this is for you. So basically what we are doing, you know, if you got stung by a bee, you know, it hurts, it burns, so this is the thing, we are burning with fire. So basically what you're doing, the game is just, uh, the gameplay is just, you know, touching enemy, let him burn. Let him burn with uh, burning damage. So basically I have here Beehive Armor, which is actually great for the thing, by the way. Although the, fir the fourth one, this one I didn't like, of course I prefer something else. Uh, and as you can see here, we are not going to have any healing other than Anima Convey. But if you like, you can actually go with the Wither Armor, with those, uh, the most important one of these two, Fire Trail. I'm going to explain why. Um... And other enchantments so we can actually heal i mean it's another option and uh, still this is not optimal uh, because of the fourth one and uh, there's a way to play with this like for example getting a sword shield if you like instead of this one having guarding strike right but you can see the core gameplay you understand how it plays so basically how it plays well i'm going to show gameplay in a second so you can clearly understand basically what we do we have a dark katana we have two fire aspect and voice strike but the thing is with voice strike i'm going to demonstrate it very very quickly you can see we are not going to reset uh, the damage you see i can actually reset the damage every single time if i hit i'm not going to do this because the way we play this is going to attack move a bit back roll use the corrupted seeds to stop them inside the fire preferably and then do this again right attack again we're just thinking like a bee you see and of course if we roll it as you can see here right 30 percent chance to spawn bees as well all right so they can happen but as we do this Right, attack again, attack maybe another enemy. Some enemy is just gonna attack and leave them to die from this from the uh damage over time. All right, so actually, void strike aside from of course increasing our damage uh, for the fire aspect and the damage of the weapon, uh, we're not gonna reset it frequently. You're not gonna do like go oh, and you no, know, some situation, of course, you just want to limit the enemies, they are weak, you just go and attack them very, very quickly. All right, uh, but in many situations, we're just gonna roll let them be the fire pose them with the corrupted seed inside the fire attack again and of course let them die from the fire and this is a different type of play gameplay you're just going to sting enemy fire and, and it's so satisfying to play like this and it just play different we also have of course the burning which also amplify both of them amplify by fire focus uh, of course if enemies come close to us you know like there's little things that run at you, you know, just let them burn sometimes they get just close to you, you can, you know, and maybe you don't have the corrupted seeds ready, all right? So it can happen, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show gameplay so you can see how it plays. We also have here a uh, strong versus enchanted mobs, but this can be uh, replaced with something else, maybe an extra defense. But it's actually nice having this for extra damage. Uh, but you can have also committed and other things. But the most important thing is fire aspect, void strike, uh, fire focus, spawn trails. All right, these are the most important. Again, armor changeable, uh, but it's really nice for the thing. Here you can, can you can also change things by the way, but I use it because I needed the anima convey and then we have roll cooldown, uh, death cap mushroom, and because we stink by the way, guys, really don't have to have death cap mushroom. We don't have to keep this in mind. I'm using it, but you don't. You can actually change it to something else if you like. So it's not a must, all right? It's not a must. Um, and uh, I run a amulet for protection. We need this, and of course, corrupted seeds uh, is a must for this bit because the synergy with this. Is that we make enemies stay inside this, the, the fire trail, just pose them there if we can, and just control the fight so we won't get to us because we don't have any healing, other healing. So let's watch some gambling and they're gonna stay place. Yeah, no, think like a bee. That's all you need to do. Just think like a bee, sting and move a bit away, let the damage over time do its thing. Of course, you can be aggressive if you like, yeah, nobody stops you from actually doing this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it's appropriate. But if you need to be safe in certain uh, certain situations, you can do this. You can just one touch and let the look at the flower out, All right? One touch, and I can focus on the other things. I'm taking a bit slowly just to demonstrate things, so you can see how it plays. And now we're going to do uh, the synergy. I'm going to roll, you see, and pose them inside the fire. Of course, we're better here just to roll to make sure they explode on the bees. This uh, we need some against creepers, but I can do this as well. Again, I'm like a bee with bees. <laughs> Again. I can just one touch by the way, let enemies burn, I can move on to the next one again because I know they're gonna die, especially the small enemies are gonna die from the fire in many situations. And if there's an enchanted enemy, I'm gonna know that I'm gonna deal extra damage when actually engaging with this. 
Of course, let's not forget that I'm dealing extra damage with the poison as well when I'm actually uh, use uh, my artifact, the corrupted seeds. So again, that's how I play. Uh, and it's really, really kind of a different way to play the game. Uh, it's really fun. Posing again, look at this. Stopping there. I can actually release a B, by the way. I didn't get a B. There's a 30% chance I didn't get it. Uh, by the way, the, um, the torment that you see there is part of the modifiers of the uh, daily trial. It doesn't come with a build. Keep this in mind. You see? And it's, it's gonna die. You see? Boop! It's dead. <laughs> and then I can continue. And I can pose them, of course, if I want to, in the fire. Let them burn. And continue and engaging. Of course, if I get close to them, they're also going to get the uh, the burn from the aura that you see. The fire aura that I have around me. The circle one. Here again, bigger enemies uh, can do the same. Attack. Move away. It's going to die. Look at this. Boop. <laughs> it's out. All right. Yeah, so this is how you actually played it. Uh, controlling crowd control and the ability to tick enemies, deal damage over time, move away, fight to get again. And of course, you can be more aggressive if you like. And this is an unoptimized build, keep this in mind, right? But it still plays very, very well, considering the fact, guys, that I'm not actually getting any healing other than the enemies that I actually eliminate. But if you think about it, this is synergizes very well. Because I'm attacking, moving with back, you see, I'm getting healed by the anima conduit. So just imagine, if I'm actually dealing being so well with actually not having uh, any extra healing, just the anima conduit, and of course the healing of the potion, how well it actually plays, right? And it's very good, especially if enemies have like uh, lots of uh, ability to deal lots of damage, and you are low, uh, especially with red captains, again, you're gonna stay away from the danger and just deal damage, you know, kind of uh, sting them in and then get, get away and let them just uh, die hopefully from the poison uh, sorry from the fire and poison and just play away with this uh, from a bit far so this can work very very well for weight captain as well when you get lots of negative modifiers that goes against you but if you like you can be more aggressive and go in here i'm actually saving by the way uh, this is not very good play usually you should save the corrupted seed for the little ones eliminate the big ones and then just uh, use it look how much fire we actually have here Yeah, so this is the build, uh, Beastinger. Uh, so much fun to play. Different, different. It has to be different and fun. I really, you know, even me, I'm playing thousands of hours. So you need to understand, for me, part of the fun is trying out different builds that feel different. Uh, but it should be powerful, again. But again, I'm reminding you, this is not the optimal build. You can actually play around with this. But just keep in mind the core ID of the extra, uh, the good damage over time, both from the poison, especially the fire. And uh, you can use it with different armor. I just like the thing of the beast stinger when I actually just sting enemies. It's actually fun and it works very well, especially with the fire trail and stopping enemies on the fire trail. Just look how much fire. Oh my God. Have you seen so much fire before? <laughs> That's it. I hope you like it. If you like, uh, please give a like and I see you very soon in the next video. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Uh, and I see you very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye bye.